I dedicate my life to dedicated students. Non-dedicated students can screw off. They waste my time and they try to bring me down to their pathetic level. What's up, Tim Sykes Millionaire Mentor and Trader here today talking about my haters. Um, there is so much BS out there. Let me just start with that. Um, it's my honor to be real. It's my honor to show all my trades. It's my honor to donate 100% of my trading profits to charity. Why do I show all my trades? Do I want to brag? No, I just believe in transparency. It astounds me that there are traders out there who only show like a few wins or they show like some screenshots of some big profits. Go and ask any trader who you look up to and say, show me all your trades and hear the BS excuses that they'll say. There's so many excuses, I'm not even gonna get into it, that would be like a two hour long video, but all traders should show all their trades. No different than baseball players show their batting averages, NBA basketball players, or not even NBA, any basketball player, you see their stats, you see rebounds, points, assists, blocks, steals. Can you imagine going to a baseball game, looking up at the scoreboard and not seeing somebody's batting average, and you just see a batter up at bat? We're in a data-driven industry, and yet, because 90% of traders lose, and pretty much 100% of traders on social media are full of crap, they don't want to show all their trades. So give them crap, because this industry should be a lot more popular. So some traders who are shady, a lot of traders who like to hide their trades, they don't like me calling them out. That's hater group number one. That's the majority, where you have this industry full of losers and degenerate gamblers, and they don't like little old blunt me. I'm not the best trader, but I show all my trades, $7 million plus. Why do I donate 100% of my profits to charity? Why do I talk about it? Why don't I do it silently? Because thanks to my big mouth, I have a pretty big following. And it would be selfish of me not to use that following to try to raise money for charity, okay? I'm proud to donate, but I'm also proud to raise awareness. Right now, my charity has built 88 schools worldwide. 31 of those are in Bali with Bali Children's Project. I've gone to Bali several times. I highly encourage you to. It's a beautiful country when you can travel. Aside from the 31 schools that we built, and mind you, they never built any schools before us. They only gave the kids like toys and books. They never had any big donors. We took them to another level. Because I've done so many trips and I bring influencers and I bring my friends and we do stories, videos, swipe ups, they have built another 16 schools just thanks to social media awareness. One of my students, built a school in his wife's honor. His wife sadly died. In her honor, he built a school. When his company found out that he built a school in her honor, they matched it. Now he's built several and the company's matched it and that creates more schools, that creates more education. All starting because he saw that I went to Bali. He saw how beautiful it was. He saw the kids, you know, you can change a community for 20, 30, $40,000. Each community school is a little different. I'm proud of the 88 schools. My goal is to build a thousand plus. So that's another group of haters. These weird anti-charity people. Um, some people think that I should only donate to American charities. Why are you helping all these other countries? We have charities now in over 40 countries that we support. They're American-based charities. Um, but they work and operate in other countries. I'm rich, I'm not that rich. My money goes further in these countries. And frankly, there's too many like American only, America first charities. You gotta help the other side of the world, okay? We're all connected. If you travel more, if you're less narrow-minded, you realize that. So there's a group of those haters. Also, there's a whole group of haters who think that charity is a scam. Oh, it's a tax haven. FYI, I donate too much from my income to use it as a tax deduction, I'm proud to donate too much to charity. I gave a TED talk, my probably worst performing video of all time, where I said why I'll never be a billionaire because I donate too much to charity. I don't think of that as a bad thing. I live very well off you know, what money I do have and I'm proud to give back millions to communities in need. So that's another thing. Um, a big part of my haters are these penny stock promoters because I expose the dirty side of the business. I used to short sell a lot of promotions. FYI, there's conspiracy theories that I short sell right now. I haven't shorted a stock in nearly two years. I don't think it's good risk reward wise for my students. Even though I could probably personally profit, 
My job is to my students. I've now quadrupled the number of millionaire students. I have nearly two dozen millionaire students. They go long and short, but for me, I would rather teach the long side because I think that's what most newbie traders should be doing. Shorting can be profitable, but it's also extremely risky and the short squeezes are out of control. So there's conspiracy theories that I short sell, that I hide my trades, I don't. Remember, I donate all of my trading profits to charity. I show every trade. You can see every dollar that I donate. You can see every trade that I do. I don't hide any donations. I don't hide any trades. I believe in transparency. I know that's tough to accept because there's so many shady people in this industry. People are like, what's the catch here? Is this a scam somehow? No. Why do I even teach? There's a whole group of people who are like, anybody who teaches, they should be in jail. Traders are traders only. They shouldn't trade and teach. There's no slashies, right? There's no model slash actors. There's no trader slash teachers. Why not? Why should I learn all these hard fought lessons over 20 years and keep them to myself and be like these soulless, lonely traders all over the world who think it's all about money? You have no idea how many traders I talk to. You have no idea how great it feels to pass down lessons that took me years in hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses to learn the hard way. I like to teach. And I am frankly flabbergasted that more real traders don't teach because there's so much opportunity in being somebody who can do and can teach. You know the old saying, those who can't do teach? Imagine those who can do, who still do, and teach about it. I wish there were more, not just traders, but business people who showed the inner workings, right? Because I can show you everything I do. And yet after you know, 20 years of trading, 14 years of screaming at the top of my lungs teaching, what do I have? I have a little over two dozen millionaires, but out of all the people who have signed up for all my courses, I have a lousy few hundred people who actually bother studying enough to even be successful. So some people are like, oh, you only have a few millionaires. This is another group of haters. You have thousands of students, only a few millionaires. Obviously some people are gonna get lucky. No, none of my millionaires are lucky. They show all of their trades too. Thousands of trades meticulously added up over time. They're all self-sufficient now, okay? That's the beautiful thing. And like I said, you can look through the data of how much everyone studies. I only have a few hundred dedicated students. So out of a few hundred dedicated students, a few dozen have become millionaires. That's a pretty good ratio. And I have so many students who are fast becoming millionaires. Obviously, industry stats, 90% of traders lose. I can't avoid that. Some people are gonna lose, especially those who are unprepared. But the more you prepare, the more you study, the better your odds of success. Lazy people, that's another group of haters. People who just want hot stock picks, people who just wanna get rich overnight, they ignore my rules, they ignore my thousands of videos, DVDs, and webinars. And guess what? They don't get rich. Lazy people go nowhere in life. They take their anger and their bitterness out on other people who try to help them. I'll try to help anybody, but if you're lazy to me, you're out. Lazy people and I do not get along. Guess what? I don't mind not getting along with people. There's a whole group of fake people in the trading industry, a lot of promoters. A lot of penny stock promoters are the nicest people in the world. They mix in religion, which is so twisted, with their own penny stock promotion. A lot of scammers like using that. I don't know why, but it's true. For me, I'm not talking about politics or religion with anybody, okay? I think that's everyone's private right, and I don't think you need to talk about that publicly. But I have no problem disagreeing with somebody. I have no problem with a non-student saying, oh, I don't understand this, answer all my questions. And I say, no, I'm not here to answer all your questions. I'm not here to work for non-students. I dedicate my life to dedicated students. Non-dedicated students can screw off. They waste my time and they try to bring me down to their pathetic level. I will not let that happen. My time is valuable. This is another group of haters. I've been on several reality shows. I didn't come off so great on them. On this video and several videos, I'm sure I don't come off that great. Oh, you're so cocky. Oh, you think you're so special. No, I just know that my time is valuable. And I know that I am focused entirely on dedicated students only. I'm being pulled in so many different ways now that I have nearly two dozen millionaire students, which in the grand scheme of things doesn't seem like that big, but no one else is creating this many millionaires who show every trade. So 
I'm not cocky. In fact, I think that you should be very humble in the markets. If you ever do get cocky, the markets will humble you very quickly. But I know my value and I know my time and I know what I have to do to create more millionaires. My problem isn't finding students these days. My problem is finding dedicated students. So if you're not dedicated, get off my page. I don't want to spend an extra second on your pathetic self. No offense, not to be mean, but we're just not gonna jive if you're lazy and you want hot stock picks and you want my time and you won't follow simple instructions or be dedicated. This is me, okay? I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to get more social media followers. I already have too much of both. What I am looking for is dedicated students. So if you wanna hate on me, be my guest. Join the club. I got haters all over the world. I don't mind them, they entertain me. The conspiracy theory is that I short sell one or two cent stocks or that I short sell at all, that my you know, fully transparent charity is some scam. The fact that you know, I show all my trades, the fact that I say, study all this, don't follow anybody's alerts. The way that I'm teaching is the proper way. And this is what I've learned over 20 years. I'm confident in my process of teaching and trading. Maybe if I didn't have as many millionaires, maybe if I didn't have as much success, maybe if I didn't have so many messages from people who broke my rules or who follow promoters and now have learned the sad consequences, maybe I wouldn't be so sure with my path. Maybe if I hadn't traveled so much and seen how much I can help third world countries, maybe I wouldn't be me. But this is the result of two decades of experience of trading, over a decade uh, of experience of teaching and decades of experience of traveling and now over a decade of experience with social media. This is the result. I am not not confident in what I do. On the contrary, I'm very confident. That's not to say that I'm arrogant. I can be wrong in any trade. You know, I, I try my, to do my best with the due diligence with the charities. We have a whole team now with Karmagawa. But at the same time, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna make mistakes every now and then. I recognize that. And yet the process remains the same. I am here to create more millionaire students. I am here to teach real transparent trading rules. I am here to help wherever I can in the world with different communities and charities. I'm here to use my social media for good, to spread awareness, to raise more money. And I am passionate about all of this. Some people say, when are you going to slow down? When are you going to stop? When I'm dead. Even then, hopefully I'll have plans in place for others to continue. I'm very proud that my millionaire students now also help teach people. I think if we all helped each other and shared our experiences more transparently, the world would be a better place. If we helped each other more in need, whether it's animals or whether it's the environment, whether it's communities, whether it's food banks or education, there's so many different things that we can work on and I see a path forward where we're helping each other, I can literally picture a world that's nicer to each other. I can literally picture a world where traders are transparent, whether by choice or forced to be transparent. I don't know the future, I can't predict it, but I can envision a world where trading gets the respect that it deserves because it's great, because it can change anyone's life if you take it seriously. I can picture a world where charities are more regulated, where we weed out the bad charities and people have more respect for the amazing work that so many charities do. I can picture a world where social media is less superficial and people use their platforms for good, to spread awareness, to help the world, to help each other, to raise money for proper causes, rather than this superficial crap that has taken over so many of our youth's minds, unfortunately. The world is heading in a bad direction, environmentally, educationally, superficially. We can change it through technologies like this. So as hard as I am with my teaching and a lot of my beliefs, I'm very open-minded as to how we can make the future better in so many different areas. So that's today's lesson. If you wanna hate on anything I say, the way that I speak, sometimes how much I swear, the way that I trade, oh, I trade penny stocks. I didn't even say that. Oh, I trade stocks under $5 a share. Oh, penny stocks, you're so hated. They're more predictable, they're easier, they're ideal for people with small accounts, get over it. A lot of big blue chip stock trading snobs, a lot of people who make millions of dollars a day, these Wall Street snobs. I'm not a snob, 
I like Michelin restaurants. I like hole in the wall restaurants. I like all restaurants. I've gained 50 pounds in the past few days. I eat assumptions for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on top of price fix menus. I eat all day. I'm here to help. I'm here to teach. Click some links below, leave some comments below. Let's make this world better. And don't be lazy, don't be superficial. Help each other and help the environment too. Positivity is key.